Hello my chickabos. Welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. For those of you that are new, I am the Chocobo Keeper and I am here to ensure that you are entertained. As a recap, we had fought Colossus number four and five, Phaedra and Avion respectfully, and somehow I broke Avion's AI. I don't know how, but it was a thing, it happened, we fought through it. We are now on to Barba. He is on my list of top five most disliked Colossus. Yeah! It's just not fun. Especially in hard mode without all the god powers. Now, just so you know, I do record my videos in advance so that way they're done, they're edited, I don't have to worry about- Oh no, I didn't put up a video today because I forgot to record or I got busy. So, in the upcoming week, I have a very special guest coming my way, so hopefully I may have to stop this series so that way if he wants to join in on the commentary, he most certainly can. And I may even start a new game up, just for shits and giggles. No aggro, don't go into the wall, thank you. So, if there's like a stop in the series, that's fine. Uh, just so you know, just read the description down below and you can kind of get a little tidbit on the updates. But I hope everyone had a good holiday, if you observe Easter or not. Hopefully you took some time for yourself to just relax and just kind of find peace with yourself. Hopefully you hung out with friends, your family, all that sappy stuff. to say. I'm trying to think of game-related nerdy facts. Um, oh, a good one is that this is supposed to be a sequel to Ico. I don't know if you have played the game Ico, but it actually came out before Shadow of the Colossus, I believe. And um... What happens is there's a boy, you're kind of trapped in this little box, you try to escape, and you find out that the village people have brought you to this temple to be sacrificed because you have horns on your head. And that will actually come about later. And, um, the series a lot later. So I'll probably bring it up again then. Um, but remember how Wander said that Mono had a cursed fate? Yeah, that kind of pertains to that. Look at all the hawks! Now, let's see. One thing. No, we have to go further along. Yeah, that way is to the final Colossus. And... You know what, we'll make a stop by. Why not? Even though the 16th Colossus is a far ways ahead, even though we're only going to defeat Colossus 6. my health bar. So, funny thing, in the PlayStation 2 remake, it was just a circle. In the Playsta PlayStation 2 remake, how about the original Friends? In the PlayStation 3 remake, it was a circle, but it did kind of rotate. Now in this one, it's like a spiral. It's really cool. 
Now what you're supposed to do is shine your beam of light into that circle. And it opens the gate. Well, it's not doing that right now. Because we are not ready for that. Yeah! But I am thinking of live streaming the Final Colossus. Or live streaming how fast you can actually get through hard mode with all the god powers. Whichever you prefer, because I think there's an achievement or a trophy, sorry, of beating the game in hard mode in under a certain amount of time. Um, I think with, even without all the god powers, all the god items, you can actually do it. Jeez, Barbara, you're like all the way over. Jeez, please. Um, but also, sorry I jump back and forth, it's just that my brain is wired that way. Um, with also being the prequel to Ico, when we fight Phalanx, I'll point out, hey, you can actually see this in the game and see this in the game. Um... I think I will play Ico. It, for me, it was difficult because in order to get better items, you had to finagle the game a lot. You, It was just, it was too hard for the reward, I should say. Like, the puzzles were just, it wasn't worth it, worth yeah. the time and the frustration. I know he's here somewhere. For me, Barba is the hardest one to find. In my opinion. Just because it's... I always think he's in a mountain range where the 16th Colossus is, but apparently it's not. Oh yeah! See, look, a little mini twister. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. No, really. See, look, it's a little mini twister. That is stuff I appreciate in games. It's like, the attention to weather effects. And also, how animals don't always listen to what they're told, yeah. Agro. Oh, yeah, look at the little hoofprints, too. Which probably by doing that I missed the entrance to Barbara. Oh, nope. Here it is. You can see it's a ruined temple. As I hit the wrong button. I guess I should kind of be taking this a little bit slower, letting you enjoy the... Enjoy the details. I'm so used to seeing this, I'm just like, oh yeah, I've seen this before. Run, 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 run. But for those that are new to the game, to the channel, all, all that jazz... Really? I can't? Okay. It's just the architecture and the detail. It's like, what civilization was this? Because... Hot damn. Like, they built this underground.
and usually in god mode i would just leap off of this down below but i think if i do that now i'm going to accidentally kill myself <laughs> Yeah, look how big this is. Like this this arena is huge. Oh, that's creepy. Wonder your face is creepy. But you would think well how in the world did they get down. It looks like there's a mechanism to where the stairs, or like these little ledges, it almost looks like they come out like, um, I can't remember what it's called, but a lot of, uh, Crash Bandicoot games, Legend of Zelda games, they would have stairs that would retract into the wall and then come back out when needed. So that's where my theory on this is. <laughs> Yeah, I know. You're fine. And now it's safe enough that we can jump off. Run! Also, you can move your, uh, the camera. behind this wall. That's behind the wall and he still has to duck to get out. Barba is one of the tallest colossi, bipedal colossi. I think it goes Barba Gaius Phallus. Run away! Rape and jump. <laughs> now the nice thing is, is you can't really see you can actually run during this cutscene. <laughs> you can actually keep moving. I think it's one of the few times you can actually <laughs> But yeah, seeing some of these structures, you know, you just think to yourself, what are these structures for? Remember what Roman said? It was for destruction. Well, he's doing that, he's destroying all the walls. The symbol on this hand is also on um, normal, I believe. But I like getting this one first because it's the easiest to get to. And I don't die if I But as you can see, when he moves his hand around, it like throws me off the symbol. <sighs> and now he's like, you don't even get a chance to stop moving it. Oh, good, the symbol's gone anyway. Peace. So that's how you get onto the hand, friends. Definitely would win the ocean. Very good. Now, Barba can be a bit of a bitch if you don't time your stabs right. It's, um. Oh, come on. 
see, he's very shaky. He's very mobile. And I don't mind a challenge, but when you can't even... Like, one of these you have to just repeatedly just stab him to keep him from bending his head back because it's just a constant thing. He will just keep doing it. There's no rest. You know, how Valus would shake and then stop. And then Quadratus would do the same thing. Yeah, Barbara doesn't do that. It's just... Oh, no more. See, as soon as you stop the stabbing him, he started moving his head. And again. Alright, and I know there's one of these on the wall. Oh god. First, I thought there's one on his back. I'm gonna be kinda sore. Yep, there it is. <laughs> See, look at me just getting tossed around like a bloody ragdoll. We have like fingers of gods, people. <laughs> Shit, I missed it. <sighs> and this is why I don't like Barba. He just he moves too much. Like, I get there's a challenge, but... And the hit points on his body? It's... Come on. Get your feet on. See what I mean? With all the mesh de uh, physics de de detection, it's... There we go. With all of that, it's just a pain to try and fight him. Because as soon as he moves or walks or whatever, he just moves and it just makes all your actions for naught. And it's highly irritating. Now, in the older games, you were actually able to climb onto the Colossus and hold on and stab them some more. This one, you can't. You can only strike them. Like you're swinging your sword at another person. You can't jump up and hold on, especially for ones that took you forever to fight. It The game doesn't allow you to do that anymore. Pardon me why it doesn't. There's Mono still sitting there. Laying there. The next four rooms. A room he couldn't even lay. A ripple of thunder lurks underwater. We are now going to fight Hydrus. Now, I will let you know up front, if you are uncomfortable with deep water surfaces, if you don't like seeing, not being able to see underwater, big creatures underwater, anything of that sort, um, I will put a message up saying, you know, when we get to his arena, skip to this for the end of the video. Because it's not for everybody. Um, it's just, it can make a lot of people uncomfortable, and that is the last thing I want for my little chickaboos, is to make them feel that way. 
So it's not going to hurt my feelings. It's not going to do you harm. But feel free to skip. Oh, there's Quadratus again. Hi, Quadratus. But yes. So don't feel bad if you have to skip it. I totally understand. Um, if you're comfortable with it, at least stay so you know what he looks like. Um, because he is pretty cool looking. Um, they actually did a lot with Hydras in the remakes. In PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3, he just kind of used to be drab looking and... In PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3, he had blue in him, and now this one, he's just all decked out. He's just, I think he's absolutely gorgeous with how they fixed it. Like I said, with this remake, they put in a lot more detail into this. So not only was this like a remake, but it was also almost like a reboot at the same time. And the game, the original game did come out in 2005, by the way, just so you know. Uh, three years later, they came out with the PlayStation 3 uh, double feature with Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. And then 10 years later, 2018, they released this. And I know a lot of the Team Igo fan base was pretty upset with the Shadow of the Colossus release, the 2018 one, because we had been waiting for The Last Guardian for years, and this came out before it. So we were a little salty. Well, most of them were a little salty. Me, personally, I was not salty. But... Um... That game is... I'm glad they took the time to release it. And... They kind of did this one first, just kind of give the player something to munch on while they were finishing up The Last Guardian. And even then, even in The Last Guardian, there's ties to this game. And Ico, of course. So the chronological order would be Shadow of the Colossus, Ico, and The Last Guardian. I may play all three at some point, but not one right after the other. Uh, just to liven up a bit, because there's not a whole lot of action in those games. There's not a whole lot of fighting. I'm gonna pause talking. Watch, I would have fallen into the water and ruined everything. Oh. But, we're gonna go up to the top of this little tower here. And we're just gonna take a look at the environment. Now, I would like to know how in the world this got flooded. Because... This just seems to be... A closed off space. Like, you can even see the wall to the outside world over there. And you see, like, a little pathway over there coming down into here. So, is this just originally a lake? But then, if it was originally a lake, how did those pillars get here, right? How did these structures get here? It looks like there was a bridge at some point. But with time, obviously, it got withered away because there's a piece of bridge over there. I think there's another piece of bridge. No, that's the only piece of bridge. Okay. But 
you know, how did the pillars get down below? Because as you can see over there, they're not that small. Um, another fun tidbit is right around in this corner, in the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, you were actually able to see Hydrus. He would just be standing stationary. And you could just see him there. So, I am going to throw up the warning right here about the deep waters and everything else. If you're comfortable staying long enough to see Hydrus when he first appears and then skip, I am completely fine with that. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I want you to be safe and comfortable. And I could do that a little bit more majestically. So there's me splashing about like a fool. You see what I mean? These pillars, they go all the way down to the bottom. But there's Hydra's. I'm moving the camera so you can see them better. So those orange spikes, those used to be blue. And they didn't have the little... In the PlayStation 2, it just had the blue spikes. The PlayStation 3 introduced the electricity around it. Now this one, he never used to have the orange uh, size. He didn't. He didn't used to have that at all. So that's a new touch. Now this is probably when things are going to get ucky. So I would uh, vacate, skip now because I'm going to be getting on his back and we're going to be going deep. So for those of you that can't do deep water stuff. I will see you later on. For those of you that are staying, enjoy the ride! I think Hydrus is one of my favorite boss music tracks, just... It sounds like Avion's but I noticed there's kind of more violins, like uh, strings. Now, the scary part of Hydras is you can't tell where the uh, electric city is gonna get you. In the PlayStation 3 and 2, there used to be a great, like a small stone separation in the fur. To show, like, hey, this is where you're gonna get electrocuted. This is the range. Oh! Yeah, see, it hurts a lot. when you're out of luck when hey Hydrus is here again music comes in and then you kind of just have to like swim and jump around a bit in order to get his attention again you know you triggered him when he, he like jerks and then starts like coming for you and also what's nice is Hydrus makes noises that aren't related to pain or being aggro. I aggroed him. That was the aggro noise. That is the I am coming to eat you noise. Even though. And the nice thing is, is we don't have to worry about getting electrocuted. I move out of the way just in case because the Colossus does more damage uh, in hard mode. And I really don't want to. Uh, risk dying. Huh. If anything, I just fast forward to the point where I started. Okay. 
As you can also see, when you're underwater, your stamina goes down. I think it's twice as fast. Do you say twice as fast as the original? Look at the little thing! He's just a big kitty fish. How the water falls off. When he rises up and the water falls off. Alright, we now have access to his head. The fun time begins. Now! Whatever you do, if you are playing this, whatever you do, do not let go. Do not release the hold button. What happens? He tosses you up! Like a rag doll! He will throw his head up and launch you. And trust me, it's annoying. It is super duper annoying. Don't know how that counted, but hey, I'm not talking. It. There we go. And then he just floats belly up. See, this is one of the ones that you won't probably won't be able to see again. And see how the lights went dim as he died. I think that's a cool touch. Uh, and then the bubbles with him sinking. And then the ripples of him flailing about. Water physics! I love water physics so much. I just, I don't know why. Just some games, they kind of have your basic, oh, stippy steppy, you know, oh look, there's water dripping off of me. Or I look wet, but like, you can tell with Wander, you can tell he's so, just the way his hair is darker and his clothes are darker. And it's just, oh, I love it. Waking back up again. My next focus. A tail trapped within a pail, deep within the forest. A shadow that crawls on the walls. Alright, that leaves it for this episode. I really want to do at least halfway, but we're already in half an hour, and I want to avoid another long battle that's gonna take a while. So, my little chicabos, it is time for your nap. I am sorry. It is time to go back into your little coops. But don't worry. In the next video will be up soon. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, dislike, comment down below on how you felt about Hydras and fun facts. 
And if you have any questions, let me know. If there's any games you're like, hey, I really want you to play this, let me know down in the comments below. And most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out. It helps me out. And also, it reminds you of, hey, the next video is up. Let's go watch it. Or at least you can remind yourself, hey, I need to watch this later. So, I hope you all have a great one, and I will catch y'all in the next video.